So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and today I wanted to film a like chilled staying at home reading vlog. So I've recently started reading. Let me pull out the book that I will be talking about and reading this vlog. It is of course Crescent City by Sarah J Maas. Um, I started this like properly like a few days ago and I've just not really had like any time to properly just like sit down and read it. But it's the weekend, it's Saturday and my thinking is I'm just gonna spend a few hours this afternoon just blitzing through that. So basically what the plan of action is for today is we're gonna have um, a walk because it's so sunny outside. I don't know if you can see, so, so sunny. Um, and it obviously are we're only allowed one spot of exercise a day, leave the house for one, one little spot of exercise. So we're gonna have a walk to the park and then I need to pick up some ingredients because I want to make some mini egg blondies. I've like seen these like on like people baking them on Instagram and stuff. I feel like everyone's baking crazy right now, but I'm not a massive baker, but I figured even I could probably do these. Hopefully they might burn, who knows? So that is what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be really chilled. We're just gonna bake, read. I have another video to edit, so I might try and get that done as well. Um, it's currently like 10 to 4 p <laughs> 10 to 4 p.m. That is not how you read time. Um, 10 to 4 in the afternoon. So I'm starting this a little bit like later on, but um, it should be a fun afternoon. Like all I've done so far today is film another video, which should already be up on my channel. So do check that out. I will leave a link somewhere. Um, and that was on my board game and card game recommendations for whilst everyone is in lockdown, everyone's in isolation and quarantine, whatever your situation is. Um, but I basically recommend some board games that you can all enjoy. Um, and then I've just been kind of like watching YouTube videos, trying to get like inspiration for like future videos. It's really interesting seeing everyone's content right now as well, because obviously, everyone has a lot more time on their hands, but it's also a weird situation, like going through a pandemic and how does that really affect like the content you make? So yeah, it's kind of an interesting time, but I'm really appreciating all those content creators who are still putting out really inspiring videos and kind of just making this whole process like a lot easier. So enough waffling on from me. Um, I think we are going to get our stuff together, head for a walk, um and go at the shops and then that's it that's our lot that's our one leaving the house exercise a day so i will be in for the foreseeable so lots of stuff to look forward to i'm living for like these kind of really cozy saturdays um obviously would rather be outside but that's like everyone's situation right now i'm sure um but you just gotta make the most of it so we are going to have a good old reading session this afternoon and I will take you guys along with me. So we've just gotten back from a walk. We went like a little bit further to walk around a park and it was like so many people out there. It's a bit kind of like, obviously we were out there for exercise anyway. There's just so many people kind of like um, just lying there sunbathing and stuff, which felt a bit strange. Um, and then we went to get some bits from Tesco. We went to get like the baking stuff annoyingly didn't have the plain flour that I needed but we have self-raising flour in the house so I'm hoping that that will still work any baking ex experts watching this will probably be like no it won't work but we will see what happens I'm a little bit nervous about it just because I ain't no baker but I think what is going to happen now is I am probably going to start the baking now so that I can just like get my reading done after that's done so We'll have a bake first and then getting properly into this reading vlog. Okay, so just starting out the bake. I am just like weighing out all my ingredients and shit like that. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm using a recipe from BBC Food, by the way. I will link it in the description bar if you're so inclined to make these uh, blondies, if they do in fact actually look good. And um, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. So lots of ample reading time after this, hopefully.
Okay, so they are now in the oven. I need to like now chop up these mini eggs though into halves. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a struggle not to eat them all. Um, to put on the top of them, I'm a bit nervous about the mixture because my hand kind of slipped several times and um, there might be a little bit more vanilla extract in there than there's supposed to be. Michael's giving me a weird look. Um, but I think it might taste all right. I tried, the, I like, I kind of dipped my finger in and it was, it was pretty good. I know you're not really supposed to do that, but fuck it. Um, so yeah, so that is now in the oven. I've got 10 minutes left and I'm hoping it's not a complete disaster. Right. Time it's come out the oven and it looks so good. I'm so proud of it. I'm just hoping that it doesn't taste awful and too sweet because I put so much vanilla extract in there that I'm hoping it's not like completely ruined, but let me show you guys. I think it looks pretty damn good to be honest. Look at that. Boom. Okay, so now I'm finally getting a moment to read. I've done my baking and we tried um, just half a square each of the mini egg blondies and they're really, really yummy. They're really like gooey and like very vanilla-y as I suspected because my hand slipped when I was putting the vanilla extract in. So wise tip if you're trying these, don't do that. Don't, don't move your hand too much and yeah. That I'm sure they'll turn out great. Um, so I am going to start reading Sarah J Maas' Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. To give you guys an update, I'm on page 78. Um, and should I give you guys like a quick update on like how I am getting on with it? Probably. So I've read 78 pages so far. I started it like yesterday. And I am really like, I'm not completely suckered in yet but i'm like getting there i think i'm in the stage where like the world is really strong like there is a lot of i wouldn't go so far as to say like info dumping because like there's a lot of dialogue still which i appreciate but it is quite info dumpy in the sense that like there is a lot of world building to sift through already so basically i'm sure a lot of you guys have already read this a lot of you or already reading it currently but it's an urban fantasy adult urban fantasy set in this um world where there are humans amongst um like angels werewolves witches like fey all sorts of like mystical magical creatures essentially and it's just kind of like this society that's like a bit debauched and like a bit corrupt and it follows our main, main character Bryce who is this um she works as a kind of like um she works in like kind of an antiquarian store like a museum almost like she kind of collects like um old enchanted items and stuff like that and it starts off with a major so I've just gotten to a major event which luckily I didn't read the blurb for the book because there is a quite a big I wouldn't call it a spoiler but like there is a big event that is revealed in the blurb of the book so if you read that you will know exactly what's happened gonna happen but I quite enjoyed the fact that I didn't know what was gonna happen and then um this big scene happened and it's basically gonna catapult us into the rest of this 800 page tome um so yeah I'm about like an eighth of the way through right now um which is a bit weird but it is a long old book um but basically yeah I've just had that event happen I really do love the characters already so that's the thing that like with Sarah J Maas I'm always like in love with the characters one thing that is very Sarah J Maas that is kind of like gnawing at me a little bit is the amount of like obviously this is an adult book so there's going to be a lot of sex there's going to there's already been a lot of drug use um but there's also like so many references to like bryce's like figure so it's like constantly being like oh she checked out her ass in the mirror everyone's looking at her ass and it's like i get it she's got a banging bod but like do we need to be reminded of that constantly and this is one of the things like in sarah J. Mass's other books like there's a lot of like kind of very sensual descriptions of the character's body how like you know how banging their bodies are which you know what fair play because like gotta own it but at the same time it's kind of like there's a, this like hilarious scene at the start of the novel in a restaurant and it's just basically like how the main character stands up and then she feels like everybody in the room looking at her butt and i'm like really i don't know like that was one of the things that niggled on me a little bit 
The rest of the book though is pretty flawless so far. Characters are amazing, world really intriguing, and I think the plot that's about to kick off is about to be great. So I'm going to try and read as many pages as I can, um, and I will check in with you guys along the way because this is a reading vlog after all. In terms of plans for tonight, I don't really have any plans. We're gonna make dinner soon. We're gonna have like burgers, um, like homemade burgers, which will be nice. And I think that's about it. I'm just gonna be chilling, reading, maybe play a game, which if you've watched my other video, you'll know all about that I'm well into my board games at the minute. So we might do that. But apart from that, it's just reading time. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. Hi guys, it is much later on. It is like half eight now. And we basically, I had a pause for dinner. We made burgers, which were great. And then um, I've just been carry on reading some Crescent City. So I read probably, I'm on like page 100 now. So I read about like 25 pages in that reading stint I've just done, um, which isn't the best, but also in this early stage of the book, it's also really hard to kind of like flick through the pages like you normally would with a Sarah J Maas book because the world building is just so, so intense. So you need to kind of, not that I've been rereading pages, but I've been like taking my time over each sentence just to make sure I really get what's going on. So I'm not flicking through this like by any means. Um, so hopefully it does pick up. I think it will now that, you know, once the main premise gets kind of kicked off hopefully it will all start flying like usually you know a Sarah J Maas book you can pick it up and finish it that night well not the bigger ones but like Court of Thorns and Roses I read that so quickly um but I am really really enjoying it I must say actually it's really interesting we're getting a lot of lot of information about the world um and there's basically a part of the plot, I don't want to spoil anything, this is spoiler free, um, but there is part of the plot that explains how these creatures get their immortality and how they get their immortality is really interesting and it's actually kind of like explained in the book, like in a really unique way. I'm not going to spoil, but in other kind of urban fantasies or general fantasy books, like it isn't really explained how creatures have like immortality so that's quite a unique thing that I'm finding in this book is um a lot of the common tropes that I've kind of read about in urban fantasy it is a very unique take so I'm appreciating that a lot um and I do think this will end up being a favorite of mine like I can already tell that I'm gonna fall in love with these characters basically um I've been introduced to the main kind of um I think he's supposed to be the love interest because he's supposed to pair up with our main character, Bryce, to basically solve a mystery. Um, but he's not like immediately grabbing me. Maybe he will. I'm hoping that there's gonna be some like Sarah J Maas levels of like great banter, which she does so well at kind of crafting. So I'm hoping that there's more of that in there. Um, ultimately though, it's like a really strong start. I'm loving it so far. And if you've read it, like let me know in the comments if you kind of felt that with the world building at the start. So um, I'm guessing, hopefully I'm not the only one who kind of not struggling with the world building, but it's definitely taken some getting used to. So my plan for the evening now, we're drinking some beers and I am getting through this beast. Um, so I kind of want to read like a hundred pages tonight, um, which previously, would have not kind of daunted me but now that I'm in this kind of like awful reading slump a hundred pages sounds like a lot of reading so I'm hoping to get to like page 200 by the end of the night we will see um but I'm hoping that I can stay up long enough to actually read that many pages um yeah I've just been so exhausted with like staying inside I know that sounds really weird but I don't know it's just something about staying in the house all day um, probably reading the news as well. It's just making me like so exhausted, like half nine, I'll fall asleep. Not ideal. Um, but yes, I'm gonna stay up, 
try and stay up and read this and I will check in in a bit with my progress. So hi everyone, just checking in for my final update. I think it's like almost 11 now. Yeah, it's like 10 to 11. Um, so a bit later on and I'm on page 140. So I've read, well, I started the day on like 70 something. So I don't even know how many pages that is guys. I can't even think, but I'm really happy about my progress because I've basically gotten to the main kind of driving part of the plot. So the kind of like action has been started. We've now got our like mission, our quest, and the rest of the book is probably gonna be um, set up as that whole mystery. So I'm really happy I've gotten to this point and I think it will hopefully flow like so much quicker now. I must say what I've read so far is really interesting, really fascinating. I'm just like in love with the world already. I'm in love with the characters. Um, it's just, yeah, I'm just so excited to kind of continue reading it. But today is not that day. I am so tired um, that, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it for tomorrow. But this is sadly the end of the reading vlog. Not much of a reading vlog because I think you saw me reading like for one stint, but I have actually been reading all night, I promise, just very, very slowly. Um, this is the end of the vlog. Um, thank you very much for watching this. Um, if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos from me. I really enjoy doing reading vlogs actually, so just let me know if you would like to see more of these. Um, hopefully it won't be just me reading House of Earth and Blood over and over again just trying to finish this book. Hopefully it will be different books on the horizon, um, but I will speak to you all very, very soon. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye guys. Yeah.